That humid night in Trinidad was a massive wake-up call for the U.S. soccer community. We've qualified for every World Cup, so I think the pressure of having to qualify it falls on these guys' shoulder right now. America's goal is simple, to be the best, to win. But failing to beat out competition from CONCACAF revealed that there is still a long way to go for U.S. soccer. And the discussion after Brazil, Max, was can we beat the Colombias and the Belgians and the Argentinas of the world? Are you kidding me? We can't beat Trinidad on a field that's too wet and too heavy? <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? With increasing participation and viewership in a country with such a large population, you would expect higher level talent at the professional level. This boils down to a youth development system that is not efficient and isn't always inclusive. To your question, what is our identity? What is the identity and the message from the top to the bottom? How are we scouting players? What does the developmental system look like? Now, they have made strides in coaching and they're starting to, to put these developmental academies in MLS and all around, but we are missing so many different players throughout the youth systems that then make their way up and know what it represent, is to represent the United States. Unfortunately, there is no easy fix. The system in the United States is disjointed, complex, and hard to navigate. There are geographic challenges such as excessive travel and difficulty developing talent in rural areas. Then you've got the Big Kahuna, the most hotly debated challenge in U.S. soccer. That's the pay-to-play system. So the pay-for-play. Pay-to-play model's not the best. Pay-to-play. Pay-to-play. Soccer favors the rich kids. Not enough pickup ball being played on the street. There's also limited infrastructure, professional teams, and realistic pathways to get to the professional level. But not all is lost. We as a country are slowly moving in the right direction. This summer has seen an unprecedented amount of young Americans playing for big clubs over in Europe. If U.S. soccer can start having the tough conversations and rethinking the way we develop players, the possibilities are truly endless for what America can achieve on the pitch. And that's where I come in. I have started a new project called The Youth, a collection of conversations designed to identify our nation's shortcomings, while simultaneously showcasing positive possibilities for the future. Glad to have you along for the ride. It's time for change. It's absolutely time for change. It's about a, a system that has to, first and foremost, look at itself and say, why did it fail in this moment? 